ladies and gentlemen, and I mean all seven of you watching live right now, welcome to Skirmetso's High Intensity Tournament. We are on to round two. That's right, we are just getting started in this tournament as far as I'm concerned, but we've got the best of the best live in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And we're gonna start it off with a massive 20 minute Iron Man match. And both of the contenders in this one recently crowned JFW champions. It's gonna be your Plim Plom Pluserweight champion, Muppet Pac-Man making, making his way to the ring right now. And he is up against the Extra Arms Bot champion, Ardvac. Here we go. Oh, I don't know about that, Bezel. How can you not get excited for Muppet Pac-Man? Look at him wearing the shit colors proudly. Oof, that's loud for me. <laughs> and uh, out he comes, coming off of victory over Just Joe and Blue Bomber at TLC on Sunday. The new Plim Plom Pluserweight Champion. Two time, if you will. But he's up against the super heavyweight himself. Ardvac, he's got his new title. He's gonna dance his way out here. Here we go. Round two is officially underway. Yeah, I mean, you gotta think this is a mismatch, don't you, Discotti? Ardvac coming off of a miracle win on Monday night in which he took down the beast Brock Lesnar in one-on-one -on -one competition to save himself a title shot next week on Monday Night Claw. But did that match take a lot out of him? It was a hell of a match. And going off a match against a guy like Brock Lesnar into this for 20 minutes, that's 20 full minutes no matter what, all the pinfalls and submissions count in this one. Whoever whoever tallies the most will be your winner. Does Ardvac have what, it's ta what it takes to go back to back, basically, back-to-back uh, -back nights of competition? It's asking a lot, I gotta say. And Muppet Pac-Man knows his way around the larger men now, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, now an interesting subplot here though. Ardvac loves putting away people with that disarmor, but what do you do against noodle arms over in that other corner when you're trying to break that elbow? It's going to be a tough one. Here we go. 19 minute counter is underway and Ardvac is in an early lead here going right for the disarmor right off the bat, but Muppet fighting his way out. But look, you can already see the damage from just a few seconds of that devastating submission move. And clearly the power differential is on display. Again, Ardvac just, just able to step over and plant Muppet Pac-Man to the ring right now. But Muppet's got the speed, he's got the cunning, and he's got that je ne sais quoi. And he is a, a an unnatural snacker. And oh, look, he's going right back for it again. Another disarmor in, and Muppet again able to writhe right out of it. Ardvac came to play tonight. A third disarmor locked in right off the bat. And surely, surely already, here we're going to get a tap. He's got to tap early. Preserve his arms for the next 19 minutes. He's hanging on there. Oh, and he does tap. He does tap. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I forgot that pinfall happened. Oh, we might have a problem here, folks. <laughs> we might have a problem here. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, folks. <laughs> I think, uh, I think this match is gonna make no sense now because I think I forgot one of the, uh, one of the pinfalls. No, it's, uh, the most accrued in the, uh, 20 minute period. And, uh, I think I forgot that there was one that early. And it threw off my count for the rest of the night because this is a long match to try and edit through. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'm getting in my ear here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
I'm getting it in my earpiece here that the ref had actually called the break before the tap out happened. That will not be a successful tap out. Sorry, Artvac. I, I dropped the ball on that one. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> uh, Scotty, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, word word on the street is that Muppet Pac-Man's foot was judged under the rope for that last one. Uh, so the ref called it off before the tap out. I got a little ahead of myself, but you can see our production truck did not put a score up, which makes that an official pin or, or submission. So no point earned off of that one. Just go with it. And here we go back to the action there. Oh, a very nice head scissors takedown to throw him into those steel steps. And Muppet Pac-Man fighting back now, trying to get going after taking all those disarmers right off the bat. And it looks like he's going to hang on. No, no, uh, countered here by Ardback. Shut up, Lemon. <laughs> Good thing I forgot to hit record on this, too, so it's not going on YouTube or anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if that's the only mistake I made during this. <laughs> I noticed another mistake before I before I launched this, and I had to fix it real quick. That's why I didn't do this at four instead of five. Whoa, but here we go. Exploder suplex on Muppet, and even if that first pinfall did not count or submission didn't count, this one might. Here we go. One, no, just a one count. Muppet finding a second win. Can he get some momentum going, though, and get right back into this match? <laughs> And Muppet stepping out, he might he pulled out both a baseball bat and a sledgehammer while we were scrambling for that result and chose not to go with either of them. Just going right back into the fight here and really getting dominated once again by Ardvac. Oh, and here we go, Muppet Pac-Man going up top here. What do we got? Oh, that huge leg drop, plants it on him, and that's one way to strike right back. Oh, he's going up again. Muppet Pac-Man going up again, trying to use his speed and his agility. And there's that frog splash. This could be a pinfall right here, and he's locking it in. One, two, oh, a two count, late two count kick out for Ardvac. Muppet's going to have to do a little bit more to put away the Beast Slayer. 15 minutes we are we are we are on our way here and there's the worm and maybe that knocked the wind out of him no a two count again still no official score in and ardvac has got to now be uh, regretting that uh, rope break the rope break that happened earlier that I should probably just stop mentioning oh and another frog splash and here we go, one, two, oh, it's it, he's got it. He's, he's scored his first pinfall, there you go, one nothing. Oh God, I'm a fucking disaster. And oh, beautiful takedown there by Muppet Pac-Man to stay on. Uh, no, it's uh, the most amount of pinfalls or submissions scored in a 20-minute se session. And now I'm realizing that it's possible that I didn't screw up my count. I just forgot to put badges on both of those. There should be a little score thing that pops up. And there clearly wasn't. So it's possible everything's fine. We'll see on the next pinfall. Maybe I misspoke. Off to a bad start, folks. And uh, also off to a bad start is Muppet Pac-Man now, even though he did just score a pinfall. Uh, no, he did not. Uh, looked like Ardback was setting up to finish him off, but Muppet writhing out of it. Oh, the X Factor puts him down, and he's going right back up top here. We'll see. All we need to care about is once the scores start coming up, we'll know with great certainty that everything's on the level. And there it is, and there we go, Muppet, his <laughs> first official pinfall there. We can call it two to one, we can call it one nothing, doesn't really matter, because shit's just his hitting the fan now, folks.
Hello, Unseen. Welcome aboard. And Muppet stomping back. He's got his commanding two to one lead or one to nothing lead, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to go with the official tally marks at this point. Looks like our graphics department fucked something up, fucked up my stream. We're good to go from now, though, folks. And here we go, looking for that two nothing lead. Now, just a one count as we press down to 12 minutes remaining almost. Muppet going to slow this down a little bit, try and just wear down that larger opponent and see if he can see if he can just wear him out and steal another pinfall. A 2 nothing lead would be pretty commanding, even with 10 minutes remaining. They still just working him over there. And now Muppet punching him back. No, no, countered by Ardvac. Ardvac, look at this. Oh, oh, this is this is a hell of a maneuver. Torture rack in. Oh god, and he puts all of his weight onto him, squashes him like a bug into the mat. But Muppet right back up, flowing like water, getting him over to those ropes, and no, countered back by Ardvac. And forced down and just working working the legs now, not the arms, you'll notice. But now Ardvac thinking about flying. He's not as familiar with those top ropes as Muppet, but he's got a few tricks up his sleeve, that's for sure. And here comes one of them. Looks like he's going to spike him, maybe. No, that missile drop kick, and he connects and goes right in for the pinfall. Just the two count. And you can see now the time limit definitely taking in the, the pace slowing down for both Muppet and, oh no, Springboard coming in. Oh gosh, <laughs> Ardvac last second dodges out of that one. Uh, no socks, just the sandals. But here comes another Exploder Suplex, Ardvac. Doesn't know. He's like, what does he have to do to get a pinfall on this guy and try and level this at one to one? Not two to two, not anything else. One to one. Oh, Muppet was thinking about, maybe he was thinking about doing that 619, but he was too far from the ropes. Instead, going to fly here, going up top. Oh, and there's that coffin drop. He connects into a pinfall. Just a two count. Oh, and uh, look at this. In classic extra arms bot championship uh, fashion, going for that single leg br uh, Boston Crab, but does not score the submission. Now we know why he's working that leg over earlier. And, and Muppet back to his feet. And now going to plant Ardvac into his knee. I mean, yeah, Muppet, it was rough. It was a, It's a 20-minute match. And, you know, so I had to sit there and watch the match happen. I knew what I wanted to do for the result, give or take. Um, and so then I had to go back and add some stuff in, and I clearly just forgot it. And another two-count kick out. Muppet now struggling here to find you know to to find something to get a three count let's see if another top rope maneuver can help him out another frog splash that's got to be a three count here muppet's gonna get a commanding two nothing lead <laughs> just the two count kick out again by ardvac And a stretch out by Muppet and uh, and uh, Ardvac able to fight his way out of it using that strength there. And Ardvac taking a little breather outside. Smart move by the larger competitor. Probably has uh, a bit of a car cardio disadvantage to Muppet Pac-Man. But he's in and there you go. Striking like lightning right on that arm. You know what he's setting that up for. Going top rope here. Another maybe a leg drop. No, going for the elbow, but he misses. And now Muppet going to show him how it's done. Going right top rope. No, the jumping knee counter. Muppet was a little too slow getting up there this time. 
And there's a beautiful drop kick to try and get back in charge here. Ardvac rolling out of the ring. All right, see you, Kaki. Oh, hey, Gengar. I'm getting word through the headphones that you should stick around because you've got a very, very unique match, and I believe it's coming up next. All right, Exploder Suplex from Ardvac. Seven minutes, 20 seconds to go. Anyone's game still, just a one nothing lead from up at Pac-Man and a two count kick out. Ardvac cannot believe it. But now, is, that, is it disarmor time? He's been setting him up for it. He's already locked in like four of them to start. No countered out by Muppet. Muppet knows if that gets locked in, he's gonna have to tap and he's probably gonna have to tap quick to recover for the rest of this uh, this match. Yeah, yeah, I hope you guys like it. It was, um, it was not what I was hoping for. <laughs> we'll see, I think it's good. It's after this beast of a match, it's a little uh, shorter. <laughs> oh, and look at this tornado DDT counter there by Muppet after coming off the ropes. Look at him maybe stun him and steal one here. No, Muppet knows, he knows if he can just get a pin lead, um, you know, a multi-pin lead, he's going to take this thing because he's faster. He's got the speed and the agility on Arndvac. He can dance him for the last six minutes. He's just got to get one more pin to be safe. But, Ar but again, the power, Arndvac, one of the best, the best at counters. Oh, and just that raw right fist dropping him. Ardvac just can always hang in a match with just about anyone, and that's why he's your current Extra Arms Belt champion. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, and the double knee stomp. Ardvac really working those legs, maybe thinking about going back to the Boston Crab, or the half Boston Crab, excuse me. Oh, another, how many exploder suplexes has, been like, has that been? Maybe he took a lesson out of the, his vanquished opponent on Monday, Brock Lesnar, and uh, trying to send him up into Suplex City. But right now what he's trying to send him to is Armbar Boulevard. And here it goes, and there it is. Does he, he's locked it in, Muppet's got to tap, he's got to tap, and he's got to tap quip, and there he does, and there you go. Ardvac has tied it up, it is 1-1 now. Ardvac scoring with the submission. Smart by Muppet. Oh no, and Ardvac very smartly going for a pinfall right afterwards. And the two and a half count kick out. Ardvac could have could have taken the lead right there. And now all Ardvac has to do is just keep pounding on Muppet Pac-Man. But Muppet speed once again coming to the rescue. Oh, Ardvac misjudged that one falls short and gave Muppet an opening. Muppet having some targeting issues. Maybe the uh, the, uh, <laughs> the the timer is uh, wearing them out. This is a very long match by most GFW standards. Oh, but there it is, the 619 coming. We've seen this end matches before, folks. He nails it and he's up. Can he stick the landing? He does. Does he go in for the pinfall though? No. Oh, he goes for the extra senton. Oh, but he doesn't find pay dirt and he hits the mat and misses a chance for a pinfall. Oh no, Muppet just got elbowed and busted open. Doesn't look like a bad wound. So if he randomly stops bleeding at some point in this match, it's probably because it's just a, just a surface wound. <laughs> and now the pinfall here, three minutes, 45 seconds remain. Every single second counts at this point. Oh, and another running kick there, but no Muppet right with the kick up says, I'm going to keep going. I know, I've just got to put it on the line for another three and a half minutes, and I'm good to go. But that's not entirely true because this is a tie ball game right now. Oh, no, and there you go, working that arm over. Not quite into a disarmor, but that's still going to cause a lot of problems for him. Is Muppet going to? No, Muppet does not tap there. Didn't lock in the full disarmor to get that full torque on that arm. Thank you. 
And now Muppet calling for the worm again. We've seen this end matches before, folks. And he hits it. Is he going to get the pinfall here? Ref, ref, real slow to count here. Oh, he does it. That's two to Muppet. It's two to one right now. Muppet in command. Two minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Ardvac is going to have to mount a furious comeback to try and get back in this. And, folks, I'm being told, yep, Yep, and no surprises here. If this match does end in a draw, they will continue into an overtime that is, uh, that is uh, next, next pin or submission wins. So uh, this match could go longer than the 20 minutes for all we know. We got to see, though, Ardvac really needs to level it before we can start worrying too much about that. And he doesn't do it there. The kick out by Muppet. Now Ardvac climbing up top. Another elbow, and that one finally connects. Missed earlier in the night, and it cost him. Lands the elbow there. And now another, no counter. The exploder suplex looks like he was setting that up. And Muppet, what's he got here? Head scissors takedown into a pinfall. This could do it. No, Ardvac, he did not hook those legs very well. Ardvac able to kick out. It remains two to one. Muppet going top rope. Big leg drop from the top rope. Oh, I thought he was going to sit on him for the pin, but he doesn't. Instead, he's standing him back up and countered by Ardvac with that uppercut. No, Muppet staying on top of him, blood streaming from his forehead. And he takes him down. Beautiful move. And Art and Muppet knows he is a minute 15 away from advancing in the shit tournament. And oh, <laughs> Went for broke with the coffin drop and came up completely empty. And now Ardvac and Muppet both duking it out. One minute remains. Ardvac needs a pinfall or a submission, and he needs it really quick, folks. <laughs> yeah, Chimp, it's a 20-minute Iron Man match. And uh, Muppet now just wearing him down, slowing that clock down. And Muppet doesn't know. He's thinking about going uh, going up. That seems like a mistake. Oh, and it sure was. The big splash there by Muppet. And now Ardvac. That gave Ardvac an opening. 20 seconds remaining here. The Exploder Suplex. Surely this is it. And here it comes. He's looking to lock in that Disarmor. Oh, my goodness. Could we get... Oh, and he's got it. He's locked it in. He's locked it in. Ref watching very closely. He's watching very closely. Is he going to tap? Seven. Just hang on, Muppet. Just hang on and you're in. Four. No, he taps. He taps with three seconds left. Ardvac tying it up and we are going to sudden death overtime. And here we go. Ardvac not waiting around. Looking to just finish it off right now. Next pinfall or submission ends the match. Shut up, Muppet. Or sorry, Lemon. Shut up. Oh, and there it is, the 619 by Muppet. Could he stun him here? He nails it, and he's going to springboard right into that pin. No, not into the pin. Bounces over him. Now thinking about the pinfall, and here we go. Oh, two count kick out. Sorry, sorry, Muppet. I meant Lemon. <laughs> uh, Ancy, you have no idea. I, I, I'll talk about it after the show. It was... um. It was problematic. Two of these matches have heavy editing. Two of them don't really have heavy editing. You'll be able to tell which two are which. <laughs> and this match, these guys are going the distance tonight. Again, Muppet has Muppet fought in a championship match on Sunday. Ardvac fought in a championship match on Sunday. Fought Brock freaking Lesnar on Monday. And now today is in this this 20 plus minute match. And now even a count out here. I don't know why the ref's counting there. Might be thinking a double count out if they can't do it. Yeah, there should ref should not have been counting there, but maybe thinking a sudden death would just end it in a draw and we'd have a situation similar to what we have next week between Rick Reckless and a uh, Demon Prince Rick Rick Reckless and Extra Arms Bot. Just glad to see we got Muppet cleaned up there. No longer bleeding. Looks like we might have gotten some of that spray glue in there. Help him out. 
but it, I don't know. I feel like Ardvax got this one, and it's just a matter of when he locks in the next arm bar and GG. But here we go, firing himself up for one. Oh, that running kick. No to Scotty. Oh, but Muppet countering out with that elbow and a springboard off oh, into that Enziguri. Or wheel kick, sorry, wheel kick. And now Muppet running punch in the corner. He's got him. He might have him for a pinfall here. Arvek not moving. And here comes the worm, folks. I think this is it. Muppet Pac-Man's got him. He's just got to get the pin in. Ref, count it. Ref. One, two. Oh, no, just a two count. Once again, Muppet can't believe it. How long? These guys are going to fight forever. <laughs> I know it's impossible to get it from you, Muppet. Because I think the actual dance part is a taunt. Oh, and an exploder suplex coming here. I don't know how Muppet let him back into this match, but here comes Ardvac. You can see the weariness taking over now. Ardvac is just on last legs, but so is Muppet. And speaking of legs, Muppet grabbing that one. Springboard, crossbody, and, and down goes Ardvac once again. He cannot seem to get in on him in this overtime. I think the advanced cardio that Muppet Pac-Man has is paying off now. And here we go, Muppet thinking he can end it now. Top rope, we're gonna see that. Yep, and oh no, oh mo. I thought he had it, the five star frog splash there, but he lands on those knees. And now Ardvac sending him into the ropes, big jumping kick, and I think Ardvac just won this match. He's gonna drop one leg, I think he's gonna drop a second leg. Yep, two leg drops here. The spin around, drops the second leg drop, and now he's gonna set him up. Disarmor time, folks. No exploder suplex time. Just as devastating. Muppet Pac-Man is down. Dragging him into the middle of the ring right on that shit logo and count it one, two, three. Ardvac is going to... No! Ardvac is not going around three just yet. But now he's no more playing around. It is disarmed. No counter. Oh, Muppet's so quick to get out of the way. Keep his arms safe. And he's got him up. He sends him into the ropes. Could be setting him up for the 619. Can he strike? He does. He finds Pater. The springboard. He's up. Bounces off and over. He's just got to lock in the pin here. Thinking about it. And he does. Ref for the count. Is this it? He's done it. Muppet Pac Man has done it. He has won this 28 minute Iron Man match, whatever it ended up being. And Muppet Pac-Man, what a match. Congratulations, you are the first person to advance to shit round three. <laughs> Ardvac, <laughs> nice timing, Ardvac. Your match was like 22 minutes, or 28 minutes long, and you come in for the last eight seconds of it. Here is your winner, <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, you fought a good fight. I thought you had it, Ardvac, but no. Tonight is all about the former or maybe still current unnatural snacker. Who knows what's going on there? But one thing is for certain, this Plim Plum Pluser Weight Champion is going around three of Skirmetso's High Intensity Tournament. Oh, and here we go. A fight to the undeath. What does that mean? Well, I will tell you. I got it in my notes right here. We've got two undead monsters fighting, so we're going to make them battle to the death because we can always just reanimate them. That's right. We couldn't sanction this in in any sort of official arena, so we had to go uh, out a ways into the boonies to have this one a, tr a actual proper death match between Gengar, the Tomb Guardian, and the notorious independent wrestling phenom Spike. No crowds around for this one, folks. This might get a little spooky.
But here you go. We lined up some cars to light the scene. And right now, Gengar are just taking it to Spike. A massive size difference between them. But there are very few wrestlers out there as technically proficient as Spike. And that's why he can counter anything. He's got a hell of an arsenal. But Kenny Hang being outweighed almost 2-1 to one by this, re this monster who's been on an utter tear since debuting in shit. Really something, but look at these suplexes. Looks like Spike's really taking command here. Very likely it is, Lemon. I would believe that uh, the ham force himself, <laughs> Fall Force, would uh, happily spend a weekend <laughs> carving up his ham in that building. Yeah, Spike, yeah, I, I actually dropped Spike's weight. I don't know if you noticed that in any of the announcing, but Spike was like 5'11", 350 or something when you sent him to me. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. And, oh, just countering powerbomb and then countering a power powerbomb. But, like, we saw it in the first round. Gengar here with those, oof. Gengar here with those with those massive power bombs, just absolutely dominating his opponent uh, as, as he as he as he walked right over him. But now Spike, firmly in command, it seems, might be able to run away with this one. You see that sledgehammer over there? You know, both these things. They always say you got to aim for the head on the zombies. Well, you got a zombie and a tomb guardian. That's gonna be my pick. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, fair enough, Night Demon. It didn't make sense to me at the time, but it also doesn't really matter. <laughs> and now, oof, that spin around power. Oh, no. Well, getting a little cocky because he's got him writhing on the ground. But again, to finish off the zombie, he's going to have to do something serious. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. Just muscling him down and just unloading on his head there. Oh, and there you go. Talk about aiming for the head, just clapping him on both sides, trying to crush his head. But Spike able to fight his way out of that toss and the big knee. And now Spike showing off his own strength. Pretty good stuff. Oh, very good stuff. He's got him up and he's coming right down with him, I think. Oh, hangs that suplex for as long as he can. Drops him right onto that hard 18 feet of packed dirt. Probably a bit more than that, considering it's, you know, dirt. And now, creepiness abounds. No crowds for this one. No additional stuff. Maybe maybe a little dry, but big powerbomb coming. Is he going for the last ride? No, he's not. Spins around, sit down, powerbomb. Oh, and Gengar just unloading on him. Big kick to the gut. And going for another, oh, no, look at this, crucifix, powerbomb? No, just <laughs> helicopters him away. I don't, even, I don't even know what to call a throw like that. When it's a guy that big, you don't have to call it anything. It's just a massacre. <laughs> I yeah, uh, I was I actually did legitimately try to figure out how to do a six a buried alive match for these two, but it it would have taken far more editing than I ever felt like doing. <laughs> And after the previous match, I was like, this one's got to be pretty simple. Oh, and just keeps clapping the head, getting him over to those cars there. Maybe could drop a car on him. I, I would believe that Gengar could pick up a full car. No, just going to plant him right into the ground once again. <laughs> yeah. But hey, look, I have uh, Skurametsu versus Lemon is good in the main event. You know I had to edit that properly. Sorry in advance, Lemon. <laughs> and Gengar just powerbomb after powerbomb. It's like he replaced all his punches with powerbombs <laughs> in his moveset. There's the last ride. Spike hanging on, though. He's hanging on for dear unlife here. Yeah, they're pretty dumb, Lemon. 
<laughs> and they're fun. Casket matches are fun, I guess, but they're pretty stupid also. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm up in. <laughs> Still going. Gengar just furious here. Just, uh, uh, what do you know? Another power bomb. So we've got Suplex City, and uh, now I guess we've got uh, Power Bomb Parkway. Oh, no. And just the brawl continuing over here. And now Spike desperately trying to fight back. Quick punches, quick kicks. And now he's looking for a pump handle here. No. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, a burning hammer. Pump handle burning hammer, it felt like. Got him up, put him down. Oh, but that huge right fist of Gengo. No, he misses. Going for that big Claymore kick. Misses with it. And now Spike brings him up one more time. Going to drop him here. I think the end is nigh. Spike's taking a ton of damage, but he's just been able to find a way to make it happen against Gengar. And here we go, folks. Oh, beautiful suplex, and that's going to be it. Yeah, yeah, Spike looking to end it right here, right now. Don't know what he's thinking, but Gengar, he's got him. No, no, Gengar fighting out. Oh, Claymore. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, the, oh. Oh, oh, I can't look at it. Yes, cut. Just cut away. Oh, God, he kicked his damn head off. Gengar, your winner in that one. And now we're coming back to a shit favorite, the finish shit match. And it's going to be a fan favorite, Le Bread Mask, Le Blim Blom Blue. Here he is, one half of plain white toast. The Bread Mask is in the house after a stunning 1v1 victory that went about 20 minutes, but it was a single fall. It is the Friday fuckboy himself, Lebred Mask, and he's got a finish it match against shit aficionado Jawsus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We, wanted, we at the shit production house, we figured we had two undead guys. We might as well get the blood and guts that all you animals want to see when we knew it wasn't going to cost us very much. And here comes Jawsus, fired in the great culling of the JFW, making his way out to the ring. Both of these men going at it. And remember, a finish it match is a two out of three falls, but you don't need a pinfall. You don't need a submission. The only way to score a point is by hitting your signature finishing move. And we will cover what each of these are, if you don't already know, uh, as this match gets started. I'm watching two dogs about to do something stupid. What are we doing? What are we doing? Real. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yeah, we got a dog here. Here you go, you want a dog? Dog! No, they were just, they looked like they were about to go attack something. I don't know. Now they're going to fight a lot, and you might be able to see them a little bit. And here we go, the finish it match underway. Oh, and running right in for the quick strike is LeBred Mask. But Jaws is, and here we go, let's take a look at the jaw dropper. Uh, modified angle slam, but we're calling it the jaw dropper here. If he hits two of those, he will be the winner. <laughs> And uh, LeBred Mask on the other side of things, trying to fight back on the outside of the ring here. I think uh, it goes without saying what LeBred Mask's signature move is, the world-famous uh, Plim Plom Plex. We'll get a look at it. Here we go. Le Plim Plom Plex. So that underhook fisherman suplex. He usually hangs on right into a pinfall. Does not need to hold for the pinfall here. Just got to hit two of those, and he will be the winner of this match.
<laughs> yeah, I did that. I did that in the first round, too. And there we go. The head scissors elbowing to the head on Jawsus. The bread mask would love, would love to get to round three. You know, constantly berated for his uh, up and down experiences at shit, or excuse me, in the JFW. They're really trying to kill each other. Um, and, uh, yeah, would love to advance in this tournament to prove that uh, he's more than just a lackey to Flicky Flack, of all people. Big elbow drop to the small of the back by Jaws. Jaws is one of the biggest light heavyweights you will ever see. He's like six foot three. Look how lanky his arms and legs are. Huge reach against the smaller opponent. And oh dear, oh boy, we've seen LeBred Mask with all sorts of visual issues before. That mask clearly does not have a lot of uh, a lot of um, uh, holes in it to see out of. So he struggles from time to time. The other thing, LeBred Mask, one of uh, one of his near undoings in his match against the Blue Bomber was his 0 for 4 off the top rope attacks. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him tonight. And we're going to see right now going right up top. Looking for this moonsault. No. Oh, my good. The 540. LeBred Mask, we need to have words, sir. You cannot keep doing this if you're just going to land on knees all the time. All right, Gengar. <laughs> I'll see you. Oh, and the standing DDT there. And now LeBred Mask might be thinking about, nope, not yet. Jaws is countering out. Oh, just the sign of disrespect there with the bitch slap. Jaws is going out for, yeah, going out for a weapon. It's legal. Anything goes in a match like this. All that matters is you hit your finishing move, and he's got that sledgehammer. Oh, he drives it down, but he misses with it. Oh, and the double knees to Jaws. And LeBred Mask dropped that sledgehammer out of danger. And the self-rock bottom. And now LeBred Mask all over the lanky-ass Jawsus. Oh, uh, help. Uh, <laughs> is that, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Is it something from my Twitch or something like that? Oh, look. Oh, sorry. I missed it. <laughs> Elp distracted me there. Had our first Plim Plom Plex of the night. And now, LeBred Mask is one finisher away from winning it. Update on the dark. No, you just said disrespect. I'm confused. Yeah, no. Uh, Jaws has just slapped him in the face. That was the sign of disrespect. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. No offense, Elp. <laughs> the update on the doc thing confused me because I, uh, in the real world, I'm working on a documentary and I frequently post updates on the doc to the people who crowdfunded it. And I was like, did I do one on Twitch or something? I don't think so, but no, it wasn't that. Anyway, back to the match at hand. LeBred Mask up one nothing. And, oh, beautiful roundhouse kick to the side of the head. Don't know how he got his leg up that high, but he connected. And, again, he might be thinking about, no, was thinking about locking in that plim plum plex, but Jaws is able to counter out. And Jaws is desperately needs to hit his finisher, the jaw dropper, but he doesn't seem to be going for it. Instead, working that arm over, maybe trying to weaken. No, he's going right back to that, uh, that sledgehammer. No. Uh, it's about a, a, a marathon swimmer who swam the English Channel four times last year. Jaws is looking for another weapon. No, can't find anything. Not happy with what he saw there. Oh, maybe he saw that sledgehammer, though. And he sure did going back to get the sledgehammer. Her rarity in the JFW. But this ain't the JFW. This is shit. 
but it was not uh, not too effective there. Labred Mask able to recover in the time it took to decide on that and take control once again. A couple kicks there in the corner, and Labred Mask sending him to the uh, the other side. Oh, beautiful crossbody over. Springboard's in. Jaws is just dancing, and oh, he caught him the exact same way. Jaws is trying, thought he had gone out of the ring, and he caught him with a second plim plom plex. And Labred Mask with a 2 0 surprise victory over the, the massive light heavyweight. Congratulations, Labred Mask. Commiserations, Jawsus. Labred Mask is joining Muppet Pac Man in round two of shit. Yeah, the Friday Fuckboy has been one of the breakout stars of this tournament, if you ask me. Unbelievable stuff by Labred Mask, and really interested to see if he can get to the, if he can get by his next opponent. I believe if we're looking at the card, his next opponent should be the winner of Unseen Walker and Lean Guerra. That's going to be a tough one. Uh, no, Labred Mask versus Muppet Pac-Man, they're on the same half of the bracket, so they'd be in the semis against each other to make it to the finals. Uh, maybe the quarters, actually. I forget. No, I think they'd be in the semis. And here we go. Lemon is good, throwing down the threat earlier. Scarrow said he'd respond, did not respond at the time, but I'm hearing word now. The stipulation on this one, the Hell in a Cell match, specifically chosen by Scurimezzo for Lemon is good, because he said, you know what, you want to play that fuck you with Fan Fox thing? Not going to happen. We're going to be in a cell. Fan Fox can go fan fuck himself. You've got Skurmetso in Hell in a Cell, Lemon is Good, in the main event of this episode of shit. I don't know what you're talking about, Chimp. That sounds well outside of my realm of expertise. No shit, Night Demon. That's why I uh, didn't do it. All right, that's right. Lemon is good. Caged in, about to be made into pureed lemon juice. And here is why the King of Kings, all hail the co-founder of shit, Skurometsu. And he looks all business tonight. He's in a pissed off mood. You can tell he wants to make this short and sour for Lemon is Good. Remember, Skurmetso almost broke Lemon's neck in a backstage brawl trying to prevent him from pulling a fast one in Fanfox's last match. Did not pay off. Fanfox still won that match. But these two, while they might both be allied within shit, they are not friendly with each other. This is going to be a wild one, folks. Uh, we can talk about that afterwards, Nancy. And there it is. Look at that. That's 80,000 pounds of pure steel. It's over 1,000 miles of chain link fence all wrapped together in this hellish, hellish construction. The sparklers raining down. You know Skurametso. He's, he's a main event master, even though he's never in a main event. He is tonight. And surely he is going to punch his ticket to round three. Here we go. Skurmetso, Lemon is good. Hell in a Cell is underway. And, oh, Lemon ducking underneath that opening lariat and instantly in with some savage strikes to take control of this match. But Skuro says, no, thank you. I outweigh you by about 100 pounds, sir. But no, the speed of Lemon keeping him on top of things right now. <laughs> I know, it's a little it's a little weird, isn't it? 
I probably should have put the aviators on, but I didn't really think about that. This whole thing was kind of concocted in the last like half an hour, so whatever. Stomp to the wrist here. Scaramazzo always so precise in his attacks, just wearing him down. He's feeling it tonight. And just trying to twist his head off. That's exactly the move he went to, to isolate and incapacitate him backstage a few weeks ago on shit. Looks like Lemon recovered uh, as well as he could from that injury. Uh, has had a hell of a run since. And here you go, that float over DDT, and now into that patented lemon monkey flip. Beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of shade and a little bit of respect being shown by one half of the Two Heads champions. Lean Guerra also still very much alive in this tournament. We'll see him in action next week on shit. Uh, yeah, it is the new mic, yep. And just a one count. Scuro thought maybe, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit too much disrespect there by Scuro, thinking he could get an easy pinfall like that. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see any sort of pinfall on a competitor like Lemon is good until we see one of those pop up power bombs. But Lemon just trying to wear down the bigger man. Again, we've seen that in every single match tonight. Always works. Take the air out of the big man and uh, and use your cardio, use your speed, and get the advantage. And Skuro fighting back here, setting him up. And no, Lemon countering out, punching back to his feet. Oh, the big double stomp. Love to see it. And here you go, Skuro, nope, Fireman's carry to get back in control. These two very even in the middle of this ring right now, but there's a cage around them for a reason, and this one's going to devolve fast if you ask me. And Skuro again just trying to take those hands away from him. And just, just shouting out to the shit universe there. Watch me pull apart this half-witted tag team specialist in a one-on-one -on -one match. But Lemon proven, proven his worth right now, withstanding everything that he's got and taking it right to him. Sends him into the ropes, jumps over him. Oh, now we got the drop. Nope. And then <laughs> spinning him in all directions. That's going to disorient anyone into that neck breaker. Skurl right back on him with the big back body drop. And Skuro setting him up in the corner, going for that gut kick, but no, Lemon steps over, kicks him on a wheel kick there, gets him out of that corner, and then Skuro sending him right back into the opposite one and stalking in on him. No, Lemon coming off the corner, sent into the, the other corner. Looks like we're going uh, coast to coast the wrong way, folks. Oh, and there's that patented power uh, cannonball flattening Lemon is good, and surely we are moments away from a pop-up powerbomb. Now he's going to try and bypass it. He's No, just a two count. And Scarrow right back working that previously injured neck. And again, he just knows. He All he's got to do is strain one muscle in there. And here we go, setting him up. Pop-up powerbomb coming. This match is over. Good night, Lemon. Nails him, plants him there, and one, two, three, count it. No. Lemon is good, kicking out of the pop-up powerbomb. He came here with a purpose. He's not giving up so easily. It's going to take a hell of a lot more, and Skrull just trying to wrench him, step, put all of his weight into his stomach there. Oh, nice kip up into that, uh, into that double leg takedown, and Skrull rolling under the ropes to regain himself. And countered in by Skuro, he jumps over him into a pinfall here. Ref very slow on the count there. 
Just the two count again. Scarrow's feeling it, though. And Lemon set him up in the corner, double knees to the back. Oh, you can see the, the damage taking its toll on Lemon. Can barely stand right now, but he's got Skiro on his back. And he's going to try and wear him down, work over that left shoulder. Skiro, uh, sorry, right shoulder there. And then a monkey flip out of the corner. Lemon jumps up. Big cross body, beautiful into the pinfall here. You might call it, catch him. No, just the two count once again. Lemon now taking a breather. And here he goes. He's calling for it. trouble in paradise coming. I think you have terrible senses, Night Demon. <laughs> no, Scarrow ducking under the, the trouble in paradise, but Lemon staying on top of him there. Scarrow kicks out of the corner. Big punch countered. Big punch again. Oh, misses with the kick there, and Skuro furious gets him into the corner. And now look at this, setting him up on the top rope. Oh, I think we're looking for something big here by Skaramezzo. He's got him up, and yeah, sure enough, here we go. Superplex from the top rope. Oh, he nails him with it. And now just watching him, staring at him, trying to figure out should I go to the pop-up powerbomb? He's taking a bit of damage himself. Yep, he's decided. Pop-up powerbomb time. Here we go. Good night. Lemon is good. No, Lemon catches catches the foot, kicks it, counters the pop-up powerbomb. But countered again by Skuro, and he's done. No, he's not. Lemon kicks him once again. Lemon on the counter, floats him over, kicks him in the back. And what a fight Lemon is putting up tonight. This should have been over about five minutes ago, but Lemon staying in it somehow. Don't know how, where he's drawn that energy from. But Skuro, just this huge kick to the gut, and working on that arm there, setting him up. Oh, and there it is, side rush and leg sweep with that arm isolated. That's going to really hurt. And once again, here comes that pump handle shoulder breaker. He does this so often. He's put people away with that before. Again, Skrull, best known for his backstage brawls. He's in the ring tonight, but he's got that cage. Neither opponent taking advantage uh, of the cage thus far, just going for a traditional match here. But hey, Skrull about to nail a pop-up powerbomb. If that's all it takes, so be it. And he's got him. He's got him in the ropes, and this is it. Good night, Lemon. Right in for the pinfall. One, two, and a two count kick out again. Lemon barely kicked out of that one. He got it in quick, but there was no energy on the kick out. Unbelievable. Lemon somehow staying in this match. <laughs> oh, and there he goes. Drops him in. I don't think we're going to see a 6 1 down out of Skuro. No, he's just gonna go the short route and just flat and just press him into those ropes, strangling him as much as he can. And there's that single knee in the most legendary backstage brawl of all time. He won a match with that against the Golden Fagor. Going up top here, he does like to do a moonsault from time to time. Can he stick the landing? Oh, he does. He hits it. The crowd's going wild, folks. Crowd goes wild. The pinfall is in. Two count. No, the kick out once again. And Lemon coming back here. Whoa, what a unique pin that is. Lemon, he's got him. Oh, late kick out by Skuro. Lemon almost caught him there. And Lemon is good. Counter after counter to get himself somewhat alive in this match. Cannot figure out what he wants to do. Just goes for the stump. If ever Lemon was going to dig deep and win this one, it was right now. Let's see if he's got what it takes. He's got the advantage. He had the advantage. And Skuro countering right back, dropping him on the mat. Big chop by Skuro. Woo! 
And now Skuro flies him over the ropes and oh, out we go. Not a lot of space to maneuver out there, folks. Skuro grabs him, slams him into the cage and that's what he wants to do. He is a backstage brawler, there you go. Skuro grabbing him up. Oh, suplex into the cage, oh, the cage! The cage just broke. They've broken out of the cage, unbelievable. Skuro dropping Lemon onto the floor there. And they are out of the cage. Anything could happen now, folks. Lemon is good, furiously punching back, desperately trying to get anything going. Oh, big super kick. Skuro staggered, not down. Skuro countering the drop kick. And Lemon, once again, a couple punches here. And this fight is spilling maybe into the audience. And before you ask, yeah, the AI did that, not me. And Skuro and Lemon saying, oh, no. Lemon saying, hey, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Climbing up. Skuro doesn't know what to do. He's just standing there watching this idiot climb up this cage. Unbelievable stuff. I don't know where you think you're going, Lemon. Lemon just letting the entire shit universe know I am the king of the mountain right now. What's he thinking right now? He's up there. He's celebrating, he's taunting Skuro, he's begging him to come up after him. Doesn't look, doesn't look like, oh no, Skuro's gonna follow. Oh, this could be a trap. This is some dangerous stuff here. Lemon just posturing up there, talking his brains out, and you know Lemon can talk. The last thing anyone wants to have to do is listen to him from up there, and Skuro's up on the stage. This fight has gone up to the top of the Hell in a Cell, and this is a dangerous, scary moment. This is not false count anywhere, folks. This one's gonna have to make it back into the ring, and I don't wanna know how that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, look at this. Going for that neckbreaker, Skuro countering out and punching Lemon, and now slamming him into that cage. Oh, dear, painful stuff. That is so much steel into the back of the head. And here we go, oh, oh no, the package. No, he dropped him, drops him right on the spine on the hardest part of the Hell in a Cell, folks. And now Skuro in once again. Oh, look at this, look at this. Swinging neckbreaker slams him down onto the cage once again. I thought for a second he might be tossing him off there, no. And he stands him up one more time. Oh dear, Lemon is good in serious trouble here. He picked this fight though, and there it is. The pump and power bump. Oh no, the cage breaks. Skuro hangs on. We gotta see that again. I cannot believe that. Pop up power bomb through the cage. Skuro falling, catching himself to brace for the impact. I can't believe it. And ladies and gentlemen, Skuro Mezzo has just won this by murdering Lemon. What? Lemon kicks out again. Lemon just kicked out again. He fell through the entire cage into the ring. I cannot believe, can you believe the impact there? I gotta see that one more time. Come on, load that up. Load that replay up for me one more time. Please, I'm begging you, production truck. Thank you. Good Lord, I cannot believe that. Unbelievable stuff. Back to the action in the ring here, folks. Unbelievable stuff. Lemon is good. Fighting out of that. I do not know how this match is continuing. Sit down slam there by Lemon. And he's got Skuro staggered. Skuro used everything he got to get him through the head cage and it wasn't enough. Now Skuro's got, oh no, what's gonna put this fucker down? Unbelievable stuff and beautiful move by Lemon is good there. But Skuro right back on the counter. <laughs> and and Lemon is good, hung up on the ropes. What a fight by both of these men. Surely Skuro's got the advantage after that desperate, desperate pop-up powerbomb that put, put Lemon through the cage and into the ring. And there's that running senton by Skuro, flattening him. Here it comes, folks. One, two, no, a one count. <laughs> Lemon kicks out of the senton on a one count. Whew. Yeah, maybe a bit of padding there if you if you choose to believe that Lemon is wearing a muscle shirt and not actually muscular. Uh, could have had a little bit of an advantage on that fall, but not much of one. And now Skuro sending him far into the corner there, stalking in on him. Big kick to the chest and another cannonball. Skuro flattens him once again. He's given him literally every single move in his arsenal at this point. Two, no, just a two count kick out. 
Unbelievable stuff. And now Skuro going for the super kick, but no, countered by Lemon. Lemon with the step over and into that windmill kick. And he sends Skuro over the ropes, tries to punch him off, and he does punch him off the apron. And down we go again. But oh, sends Skuro into that chain link fence there, and then back into the ring. Lemon has not yet hit a Trouble in Paradise or a Lemon Drop. No, he hit one Lemon Drop earlier. Oh no, and Skuro sent into the corner there. Lemon, what's Lemon doing? Oh, looking to hang him in a tree of woe here. Yup, Lemon hanging him in the tree of woe. Oh wait, where's he going? He's got Skuro hung up, he's walking away. No, no. Oh, no, you can't be serious. He can't be thinking about going coast to coast on this one. He's a high flyer, but that's a long way to fly. Here we go. He's done it. He's done it. He goes coast to coast. He cleans Skirometso's clock. If he can get the pin in, this could be over. No way. Skirometso's going to kick out here. And here we go. The pinfall in by Lemon. One, two, and he did it. Lemon is good has just won this Hell in a Cell match with a coast to coast drop kick on Skurametso in the corner. Unbelievable stuff. Skurametso out of his own tournament. Both Skuro and Tarsus, the founders of this tournament, are not going to com be competing in round three. Both eliminated. Good night, bosses. And this is. This is frankly unbelievable stuff. Lemon is good, winning in one of the most hellacious Hell in a Cell matches I think I've ever seen. Coming out of it with the victory, congratulations. Lemon is good. I'm sure we'll be hearing about that for years to come. Commiseration, Skirmetso, but hey, you're putting on a hell of a tournament, sir. And that's gonna do it for tonight. Unbelievable stuff next week. We are back with round two action, the final the final eight competitors, final four matches of Skirmetso's High Intensity Tournament. We'll be streaming probably right around 8 p.m. UTC. We don't really know when we find a place we'll put it there, but rest assured it's coming. I'll see you next week, shitheads.